I was a little confused. Go ahead. I was a little confused with the homework because it was A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. But um, I kind of figured it out on my way. But okay. I was just asking, did I split them correctly? You like, did, but there are some of them that I would need to call you and we talk one on one. I need okay. to correct you on some areas that you didn't get very well. So, email. Okay, you want to add your name, Yeah. Um. Okay. See. Okay. See. Huh? Okay. I'm looking at it. I tried to pull it, but it's not pulling from the computer. I wanted to share it with everybody. For some reason, it's not pulling. But I'm pulling it on my phone. Um, I wasn't. Uh, if I did okay. it correctly. I'm on KC. I'm making KC. I'm wearing him. I'm wearing KC. I'm making KC. Oh, yes. Sorry, in KC. In KC, my family is not big. Is it not all of them? Okay, there you go. So now, oh, that's one of the things I said I would talk to you. Okay, let's use, um, let me share a page here. I'm going to use, um, okay, she's an example. Okay, she said my family. Let make it big. I want everybody to see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to share a page. One second. Um, you know what? Let me get the homework. It'll be better. We go to the homework and see what we did. That was much second. No, 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 no. One second. I'm coming. Much second. Okay. So let me share a page and we take a okay, she's example young homework here. So all right, so everybody can see the home page. This is the homework I gave to you. And the homework will say make five sentences. Each sentence must have three or four parts. The first one, it doesn't have to be in sequence anywhere. Well, let me get my video. I want everybody to see what I'm saying. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. All right. So you can do past tense first, or you can do present, or you can do future first. But the past tense should have two parts. So the two parts I mean is the one should be came. Okay. The other one should be uh, went. That's why we should have two parts for the past tense. Okay, because it's not the same thing you say in came that you're going to say in went. So let's, for example, let's do um, there's something in Ogechi. So Ogechi is Nanke, awesome. Ogechi is. My family is not big. I don't know if everybody's seen it, but I'm trying to make it. Okay, I think it's big enough. My family is not big. Should be. I want you guys, it's not just doing this homework. I still want you all to review it using the words. That's the purpose of making you do the homework. Those things that you did, and now you know how to say it in Igbo. Use them, use the words. Just maybe randomly, maybe play, do it yourself if you don't have any, anybody to communicate with. I want you to be sounding it, saying those words. Then you know how to do, say them. You add them in your portfolio, you keep going. And that's how you're going to learn this Igbo. If you do the homework and you forget it, and then I ask you a question, example, from that homework you did yourself, and you cannot tell me, which means you didn't learn anything from it. Okay? So, okay, my family is not big. Oh, 
Ok, chờ nãy bà. Ừ, anh ông nhá. Aha. So I need you to say that because if you can't say it, which means you didn't learn anything. You know, family. Um, as in Nula. There you go. Okay, I'm going. Which means you know it. Um, as in Nula, Boogie, Avuka. That's what I wrote, but I wasn't sure if it was correct. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Nah, okay. You are missing something mm, when you okay. say Az. Okay, you can say N A or you can say N. And then you know that. So it is the sentence. It means the sentence. So don't forget, but you have to contrast it if something else is coming. A Z na olam. So somebody in uh, in uh, okay okay Chima. When you are trying to say okay, if you want to tell me that I didn't eat, how will you tell me that? How will you tell me you didn't eat? I didn't eat. How will you say that? Okay, chicken come now, Jim. Um, you told me to. Say what happened that. to my computer? Uh oh, what's mm -hmm. going on? My computer is in and out. I don't know. Okay, it's back up again. Okay, if so, what are the two letters I said you use? Ah uh, and mm. no. Oh, ah uh, and the a. And when a. you're addressing yourself, mm. you use the two letters, R and L. Wait, I need to do this a second. I don't know. Okay. So if you're using, if you're addressing to yourself, you use the A, marble. R, uh, these are the two letters when you're talking about yourself, when you're trying to express yourself. So based on what? The vowel. You have to make sure the vowel is going to rhyme. Okay, okay, Chigwam. I didn't eat. I didn't eat. I didn't eat. Okay, there you go. Eri. Him, Ungri, right? Yes. There you go. A rigim Ungri. Now, a rigim Ungri. So let's go back here. Okay. My family is in Olam, Ukutreya. Okay. You missed something. So, boogie. You say boogie. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think it was. A boogie. So you mean a, a, a mm. there you go. Is it no lum? A boogie. Ibu. Okay. The problem mm. is the verb. I think what we're gonna do here is this. Next week we are going to do verb. We're going to focus on verb because you need this verb to be able to know what you're doing. So a boogie. Ibu. You said ebuka. It means your family is big. When you say Oburibu. Okay. So ebugi ibu. So this is what we're gonna do. But let's go down here. Let's do something first. Okay. Big. So it's nuku. Big means nuku. Okay. Mm, nuku. Okay. Big means nuku. Okay. When you say it is big, big also means what? Ibu. Ibu. Now, when you see a fat person, you say, Oburu Ibu. You see that? So big means nuku. Some people say, Odi nuku. Okay? When, I say, when you say, okay, I have a table. Yeah. Okay, how big is it? It's Oburibu. It means it's so big. Oburibu. It is so, don't forget all is. 
pronoun. Obrib. Miss, it is big. When I, you say, oh, I see a big woman walking, or a fat person, you can say, one year, burib. This woman is fat. But you're not going to tell that person. Okay, so somebody is fat, somebody is big. So that all of them means ibu. Okay, ibu. Okay, to be fat or to be big. Ibu. Okay, now ibu. So pay attention. We have ibu. Okay, ibu means load. Big. Okay. So when you're looking at this now, this verb, ibu, to load. Ibu, ibu is to load. Now let me break it down. Ibu, ibu, to load. Okay. Okay. Bunyibu, to load. But when you're conjugating it, you don't say it like that. Then ibu, ibu. We, we have two words here. So this one is load. But what differentiated it? The sound. This one means big. Ibu, load. Ibu, big. Or fat. So don't forget that. Now, ibu, ibu. The first one is high, high. Ibu, which is load. When you're trying to say, oh, obu ibu, she carries, she's carrying a load. Or you look at a car, this car is carrying too much load. Obu nuku ibu, too much is nuku, something big. So you see now, obu nuku ibu. Okay, when you say this car is carrying too much load. Ah, ah, too much load. Okay, it means Kadoya Gagwam, Kadoya Gabidoya, Kadoya Maya Waka. Come on, guys, we need to learn here. Gena Waka. Now, you know what is a car, you know what is load. I need somebody to help me out here. Kadoya Gabali Kaya. Are we all on your Nara Hora? On your Nara Hora Eba? On your Neba? On your Noya Chinea? Gene wear a Hora. Are you sleeping? There you go. Uh -huh. So I say, Are you all sleeping? The only thing I is awake here. <laughs> Come on, guys. So, Chinaya Chanke Balia. This car is carrying too much load. Now, start from this car. Uche Alo. Gen a walk car, Chinaya. Uche Alo. Chinaya. Chinanya. Eh. Eh, eh, ka. What is ka? Uche alo. Uche alo. Yes. Chinanya, chinanya, oh. Chinanya, ka is obo ala. I thought that you and I did this. Okay, somebody is talking, please mute. Ka wo obo ala. Okay, now let me let me do it. Let me do it. Okay. Kabo Owala. This car means Owala. This means ah, okay. Nka. Okay. Obo Allah. Obo Allah. So Obo Allah means K. 
Africa. Now, Allah, that I miss this car. When I say this girl, you see that? That's how you say this spoon. Ngajia. You say um this bag. Papa. That's how you say it. So we're gonna do those things, the phrases, and that's what we're supposed to do today. But let's go over this homework. So we're gonna do the phrases and then we'll tell you how you use it to make a sentence. Obala. So ah, that ah is this car. This man, Moka. See that. This woman, Mwanya. Okay. All right. So Obala. Boo. Boo. Nuku. Ibu. This car. Okay. Miss Obala. Is Karen. Boo. Nuku. Ibu. Too much load, Miss. Nuku. Okay. Ibu is load. All right. So, but you need to pay attention. Okay, I say here. Oh no, nile on a okay. Oh no, nile on a rahiora on a. Oh no, nile on a. Oh come on, there's some people messing me up. Are you all? Oh no, nile on a rahiora. Araho ora ora means sleep. Ora araho sleeping. Okay, araho ora. All right, so now this car. Okay, so okay, I want you to see your mistake there. My family is not big. Ezina olom a boogie. Ibu. A boogie, ibu. Ibu means big, be many. You can also use it to um trying to tell something that is many, okay? A boogie, we are not too many. Any boogie, okay. When you say we are not, too, oh my god, many, oh my god. Any a boogie, any a boogie. That air must be there. A boogie, ibu, okay. So let me see. I think there is another one. Get each other on repose. You want to judge him. Okay, it says in all of a boogie. So you see a buka. When you say a buka, my family is many. That's what it is. So, okay, to pay attention. So, a buka, any a buka means we are many. Any a buka means we are many. We are many. You can say any ebuka. Okay, that's another way you can say it. Uh ezina olam agage. Okay, this is another one. So where is the English one here? Can you chari kuhi ogechi? Ezina olam agage po agage. So what are you trying to say there, I'll get you. I was trying to do the different tenses. Like okay, we so, were not. Okay, my you're trying to say, is it no long? Agage, agage bo, ebuka. So what are you trying to say in English? Um, My family is not going to be big. Okay, is it no long? Agage ebu ibu. Agage ebu ibu. Okay, now there's yeah. another one. Yes, it's in Olam Agage Bibu. There's another one here. You say, I am not going to, uh, no, you say, I do not have a dog. And you say, Anagim Enwe Nketa. That's not how you say, I do not have a dog. So, I do not have a dog. But you say, Anagim Enwe Nketa. No, that's not how you should put it. So, when you say, I do not have a dog. So you can't say anagim and wenketa. You because you say you don't have it, right? I do not have a dog means and wagim that a eh 
See, and when you don't have it, it's something you don't have. I do not have a dog. And when him, keta, you see that. And when him, keta. Now, if you say you have a dog, kadi kige she kuyogeshi. And when in keta. Who are you? And when in keta. No, something is missing. When you remove the negation here, if you mm -hmm. remove this negative, how will you? So, what are you supposed to add? Because it can go back and forth. So, mm -hmm. if you said, I have a dog, you're going to remove something when you want to say, I don't have a dog. I have a dog. So, it will be. Enwerem. You can't say M -M. Mm -hmm. I know some people, sometimes you hear them, you think they just cut it short. They keep on shopping it. M -M. You see that? M -M. M -M. So now if you want to say M -M, then you're going to remove R-E to add G-H-I. And the same thing applies if you want to add, say M -M, you remove G-H-I and put R-E. You see? M -M. Nketa. There you go. So, Enwerem Nketa. Um, since we are doing it, so let's just continue. That's another one. You say, Agagim Enwerem Nketa, which means, it's the, so you say, Anagim Enwerem Nketa. Anagim Enwerem Nketa. You don't. So when you, this is the only way you will apply. Like if I come to your shop, if you're maybe a retailer and you're selling something and I came to you, I say, okay, Chibiko, um, Acharam, cubes, like in Maggie, cubes. You say, oh, Anagi Menwe, Q, you see, Maggie, meaning you don't even sell it. You don't even carry it. That's the only way this sentence. We're coming. When you say anagi me when keta mob, anagi me ren keta. It means you don't even carry dog. You don't even keep dog. You see what I'm saying, no okay? You don't keep dog, or you don't carry it, or you don't sell it. That will be the only way you make sense that sentence. You don't normally carry it. You don't normally sell it. You don't even keep it. You don't keep dogs. So that's how this sentence will come in. Anagi me when keta. You can also say anagime debe. Anagime debe means you don't keep it. Anagime when keta means you don't carry it. Don't I don't you don't have it at all. You see that? So that's the only way. And then it will make sense. Okay. So the rest of them, let's see another one. But next time I would like you to put it in English. Probably it's gonna help you, okay? Um okay. You say agage maga olo enyim. Okay, now agage maga olo enyim. So preposition is missing there. Agage maga olo. So you know what is missing, right? Yeah. Agage maga olo enyim. I will not go to my friend's house, right? So something is missing. Agage maga na olo enim. You miss that preposition. Agage maga eolo enim. It's supposed to be agage maga na olo enim. Um, the other one is agage agage olo enim. You miss agage agage. You see that you're missing the. Possessive pronoun there. Agagem, then you also miss preposition. Na olo enim. Uh, basically, you're repeating, you're saying the sentence. You say, Agagem, no lo enim. I didn't go. Okay, past tense. So, but you, so you're missing M there. I will not go to my friend's house. Agagem, aga. 
גם, אגה, גם, אגה, נא, אולו, אינים. That's how you're supposed to write it. Um, I will not wash my plate. Agagem. Now you are missing the possessive pronoun. So I would like you to go over all of them later and see that you are missing. When it has to be you, when it comes to be something you, that you're saying that you will, you will not, you will do this. That possessive pronoun, me, is supposed to be there. Agagem. Asa, efere, efere, okay, eferem, I will not watch my plate. So the only thing you're missing is that possessive pronoun. Agarem, now you say, anagem, you're also missing a possessive pronoun. Anagem, asa, eferem. Asagem, you're also, miss, you're also missing the possessive pronoun. Asagem, eferem. But then, um, you are missing the other part of past tense. Like if you say they came versus I went or they went. So I want to see that because I want to make sure you know how to say it in both ways. Because it's not it's just because both of them are past tense doesn't mean that it's the same way that you're going to word it. No. When you say went is different, came is different, the way you're going to word it. And when we did it in class, we say something like, we went home. You see that? We didn't see them. Okay, we came. If you add here, we came. It's supposed to be. You see that? So we came. It's not the sentence as went. Ani bia, biara. So that's how you say it. When you say ani biara, ani jere. It's not the sentence. Ani biara means we came. Ani jere means we went. Mobani gara. Ani biara, ani gara. They are not the same. That's why I would like to see. I, I, I said I would love to see both of them because I want to make sure that you know how to make sentence with came and went. Okay? So you have to make sure you know how to say it. You can use both. All right. So um, I would like you to go back to your distance based on the example or corrections that I made and then redo it. But use different words. I don't want you to be using I, I, I. I want you to use all the pronouns there. You can use you all, you can use they, you can use we. You see that? So I want you to apply all the pronouns. Ge, gara. You see all those things. Ge, e, ya. Use all the pronouns, miss them. Then you will know that you are sound. You know how to juggle them. So that's what I would like everybody to do, but you're still going to get another homework. So. What we are doing today, just to correct it, okay? But I don't want to load so much. I want you all to go back. And then if you know you have not even submitted anything, go back and do your own. And then if you know you did from what we are doing today, if you know what you missed, just mix the pronouns. Use them to make sentences, okay? But I need to know if you have question, no gauge from what I told you. Looking at your homework, do you still have question? Okay. So I think your biggest, uh, the only thing in the problem was that possessive pronouns. I did not eat. Erigim. So what you said here, erigi in rim. Erigi. So you did it the other way. So you put that me. After Nri, it's Erigim Nri. If you want to say, I didn't eat my food, but it's not what you said, I didn't eat food. You didn't say, I didn't eat my food. 
That would be the only way you would see a rigim rim. You see that? So let's write it here. So Nankembo, you said, I didn't eat. I didn't eat. It's supposed to be a rigim ngri. But I think the way you worded it here, you said a rigi, a rigi ngrim. You should have that possessive after a rigi and also possessive after my food. So if you have said, if you have said, I did not eat my food, that's when you will say, a ri, see, a rigim, a rigim possessive. Mrim, another possessive. Because say, my food. So I did not eat my food. A rigim, mrim. See that. So, and then you say anagim eri mri. So, what is it in English? Okay. Okay, Chineba. Yeah. Um, anagim eri mri. What is it? Oh, I'm. I was trying to write. I am not eating. There you go. Anagim irinri. Okay. How will you say I went to eat at my friend's house? That's right. I went to eat at my friend's I went to eat at my friend's house. Okay, Chungwa. Ejerem Irinri. Now, thank, 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 thank. Okay. Okay. Hey, Jerem. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, oh. Jerem. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. To eat is let's do Every. this. Okay. To eat. Iri iri. There you go. To eat is iri. All right. Now, mm -hmm. I went to eat at my friend's house. Hey, Jerem, uh huh. Iri, Iri. Iri, Iri, uh huh. Uh, na, Ulo, Enim. Na, uh huh. Ulo, uh huh. Enim. Enim, there you go. There you go. You got everything. That is good. Okay. So, this is what you're going to do when you're trying to. You can even. Do it on your own, okay? Practice mm -hmm. on your own. Write it in English and then write it in English. It will help you that way. So let me do your for Chiamaga. And again, don't focus on I, I, I. Don't focus on there, there, there. Don't focus on we. Don't focus on all. Mix, use all the pronouns. Your first sentence may be, I went to eat at my friend's house. The second one would be, uh, they didn't go to eat. They did not come to eat. You see that? The third one may be, they all came, uh, we all came. You see that? And the other one will be, she did not even go. You see, just use those pronouns. The other one will be, I was not talking to her. You see, trying to get all those pronouns in. So. Mix it, use all the pronouns. You go over the pronouns, you see the pronouns, make sentences, trying to, you know, accommodate all the pronouns, trying to touch base on all the pronouns. Mix it, don't use I, 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 don't use all, oh, all, oh, all, oh. she, she, don't use that. Use she, then mix it. The five sentences, like the first one, remember you have four parts in each. So in that four parts, make sure you input incorporated all the pronouns. The first one can be she did not come. The second one will be um, they came. The other one will be uh, they will not, um, we will not come. The other one will be uh, she you are calling them. You know something like that. Just mix it and see that you put all of them. You use all the pronouns. Okay, Chiamaka, let me see one of uh, 
Because the same thing, I noticed the same trend. And Chiamaka, Chiamaka used the ha, 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 ha. And then she used chi, she, she. So, any, any, any. No, I want you to mix all. Any, a boogie. Any, a boogie. Apple. So, Chiamaka, what are you trying to say? You say, any. You see, I want you all to write in English an Igbo. You said, Ani. I'm a chamaka can you chariku? On wagi on ye biara no lo no lo a poko. So and then you say nobody. here. Huh? Nobody. Uh, nobody but you the one you said here, uh kato, yes in kano essay. We didn't sing. And then you said any a boogie. Apple. Any aboge apple. Any aboge, but you went and say eh. Any aboge. Now you are not following the um okay, Chamaka. You went and punctuated I and you didn't punctuate the U, and you started the sentence, uh, the word with eh. Now, this is a vowel clash here. Remember, you can mix vowels. We have a vowel clash. You can start that word with a, and you punctuate a. Remember, the, all the punctuation, all the vowel, all the vowels that you're going to punctuate belongs to a vowel, not a vowel. It belongs to a vowel. But the air vowels, they are not punctuated. A, O, and U, they are not punctuated. But if you punctuate them, which means I supposed to start that any aboge abo. So if you had replaced that air with a, which means you are right and you punctuated it well. But because you put the air, air shouldn't be there. So it's supposed to be any aboge abo. We didn't sing. And then the other one is say any agage abo. You I think what you're trying to say is that we are not going to sing. Any agage abo abo. Okay, you're trying to say we are not going to sing. Meaning we any. Aga, re, abo, abo. You see that you have to. Anyaga, abo, abo. We are not going to sing. I know it's, we're going to do verb next week because I want you all to know how to use these words. I think it's because we haven't done verb. That's why you're struggling. So we're going to do verb next week. It's going to help you a lot. So that we do adverb, or probably we may do both of them. But verb is very, very important. Anyagage abo abo. Anyebura abo. Okay. We sang. We sang. Anye boro abo. See that. Anye boro abo. And that B U R U is supposed to be punctuated. And that abo, you know, because it started the word, you should be punctuated. Okay, so let's leave it here. I want to give you all of you a room to ask questions. Just go over your homework. Ndin kemere homework, huh? Oge chiamaka. And chinenye, I didn't see your homework, but okay, uh, it's because your phone is 40, so I didn't add you to the forum. But I'll go over your homework, and then I'll get back to you. But please, chiamaka and ogechi, I'm proud of you all that you did your homework and you were able to go over it. I want you to go over again, redo your homework, mix the pronouns, and then you have till Thursday to send it to me. And if you know you haven't done your homework, please do. Now, another thing is this, event is coming up. I want every one of you, if you know that you're coming to the event, June 8th, please, you need to let me know. And then uh, tell me what you are planning to present in Igbo when you come. So if you know you are coming, 
let me know. If you are not coming, I need to know as well, because those who uh, that are not coming, you still, because we are going to air it, it's going to be, we're going to maybe use uh, YouTube or, uh, or maybe Facebook, I don't know. So the person doing it, we are contemplating doing all, but I think it's going to cost us more to do all of them, probably do YouTube. So if you're not coming, you still have to do something I send that we are going to project that day on a slide. So think about it. Let me know if you're coming to the event or not, because we need to start. I'm going to assign something if you don't want to. Hey, this is what I'm doing. Then I'm going to tell you what you're doing. But either way, we still have to have to do our number spelling uh, contest. And then we narrow it down to three people that we present it later. We do it live that day. That was how we did it last time. So the, the finalists will come out there to do it live. The audience are going to select the numbers that we're going to quiz you that way. They will not say, oh, okay, your teacher gave you the number ahead of time. So there we collect the numbers. We collect the words that they want us to quiz you that you're going to contest on. And then that's what I'm going to ask that day or we call somebody else to do it. Okay, so, but they voted and said, okay, they would like me to be the one to ask because they don't even know them. They don't know how to ask it. So that was the reason I did it uh, there uh, at the event. So that's how we're going to do it again. And that way they know that, oh, you know what you're doing. And to be honest with you, the, the people that all the kids, the youth that did it last time, it was awesome. And audience there were like, oh, they know these numbers even in millions. So, and they make a, you guys missed it last time. I will talk to your dad. Uh, this time I want you to come because you, you are one of the people that really mastered the formula very well. So, that's all I have for you. Do you all have any question? Anybody with any question? And Chinene, I know you're coming. So, you and I will talk later. You need to. Tell me what you want to present. You don't tell me. I'm giving you something you're doing. Okay? All right. So everybody, if you have a question, we have two minutes. You're not going to expect homework unless if you, uh, I mean, not any class note. Unless if you still want me to post what we did today, I will still post it. Because we didn't do much other than go over what we went over what we did, uh, the homework. When were I, Jojo? Everybody go back, do your homework, send your homework to the forum. And Chiamaka and Ogechi, you can go back and redo your own just to help you learn more and send it back, uh, post it again. I will go over and then see if you are still missing something. Because that's a way for you to learn more. Okay? What can I say? Call your. Can you send the home, the work that we did in class? Okay, I will. I will, okay? Email. Email. Um, 